Out of the Democrats, as Hillary Clinton gears up for a campaign event in Michigan before heading off to the battleground state of Ohio. We're getting new reaction from members of her own party to her performance at last night's debate. Blake Berman with the Fox Business Network is live in St. Louis with more. Blake? Heather, Jenna, good morning to you from St. Louis. When Hillary Clinton left here last night, she spoke briefly with reporters on her plane as she headed back uh, to New York. She said she felt great about how things went here last night and said it wasn't tougher than she expected. Of course, the dynamics of everything somewhat changed a little bit when Donald Trump held that press conference before the debate with several of Bill Clinton's past accusers. Earlier this morning, the Clinton campaign in the form of its campaign manager, Robbie Mook, said that they were disappointed at that stunt. That's the way he described it prior to the, bait, to the debate. And they said uh, that they felt that Trump throughout the night tried to throw mud and knock Clinton off her game, but they feel that Clinton withstood it, and they say that Trump failed. Of course, one of the lines last night that drew a lot of the attention was when Trump said that uh, should he become president, that his administration would prosecute Clinton. Well, earlier this morning, Mook said... To that end, Trump owes Clinton an apology. I would say it's chilling that Donald Trump thinks that the presidency is like some banana republic dictatorship where you can lock up your political opponents. I think he should apologize. As for Clinton today, she heads to the Midwest. She will be in Michigan and Ohio, a stop there each. She will be uh, on two different college campuses for voter registration drives. Tim Kaine, he's got a unique event today. He is out in Colorado, and he will be joined by Dave Matthews, the musician who will put on a concert there. By the way, before we should go, I should also mention that John Podesta, who, of course, is the campaign chairman for the Clinton campaign, WikiLeaks has just released a new batch of Podesta emails, some 2,000-plus in total. They just put this out here within the last hour, and we are going through them. Jenna, back Blake, to you. Thank you. More on that as we get it. Thank you very much.